So once it is saved, next part is to design the bottom cover for the smart lamp. So let's start doing it now. So in order to do it, first we need to go to create, extrude. Okay, so to extrude it, make sure we select this small path or small area underneath the design. Okay, and then we type 16. So enter 16 millimeter as the distance and make sure the operation is changed from join to new body because we are making it to be a separate body from the main building and then we click OK. So you can see that it's actually two different bodies over here and the main building. Now we need to hide. So if you go to the bodies, okay, let's hide the canvas. We don't need it anymore. And uh, this is the body. So body two is the complete uh, joint body that we did earlier. And then body number five over here for me is a new one. So let's hide the first one. So we only have the new body that we just created. So in order to do the next part, if you are following the book, there is a bit of glitch in the software. To avoid that, let's uh, go underneath, okay, bottom part, and then click on the small path over here, okay, and then go to sketch, rectangle, center rectangle. So when you choose this, the profile is actually shown, but if you follow the book, this profile is not shown. Now that we have it over here, we don't have to click anywhere. We just need to get this profile. Now let's click on stop sketch. Yeah. So if you go below, you have the profile over here. Now, what we need to do is uh, we go to create, extrude. So since it's the bottom part, we click on this profile over here. Yeah. And then we click the distance to be minus 25. And then make sure the operation is in join because we need to be we need it to be on single piece. And then we click OK. So we have it done so far. Now the next part is to press pull it. So go to modify, press pull, and of the top face, click on these eight faces over here. Now I have selected four so far: five, six, seven, and eight. Now all the eight of the top are selected and then the distance i add it to be minus 0 0.5 millimeter and then i click ok so the press pull is done now i need to add shell in order to add that i go to modify shell and i click on the top face yeah and then i add the inside thickness to be two millimeter so the shell is done then i click ok yeah now since the bottom cover for the uh, smart lamp is designed we can uh, display the body number two which is the main building so this is done so far now let's click on the home button yeah now we need to create holes so that we can screw it to be one single piece like once we fix the batteries and every electronic components inside we have to close the design and then tighten it with the screw right so this part we will be designing the holes for the screw for that we will go to the sketch toolbar and then we go for point yeah we click on one file one side of this building and then along the center line we click a point over here so we have this point now i click on the point right click sketch sketch dimension from this line to this point it should be five millimeter yeah it's already five millimeter so i'm off with it now that we have the hole set five millimeter away from the line next part would be to create a hole like the point is five millimeter sorry about that i said hole instead of the point over here so to create hole we go to create and then we search for hole here this is the hole so we go for this hole and then we choose this point okay extent we change it to all so we have the extent over here as all and then hole type should be simple Okay, and then we go down and the diameter we set it to be 2.5 millimeter. Yeah, the rest everything says this I mean stays the same. Hole type is simple, hole tap type is simple, drill point is angle. Yeah. Diameter is 2.5 millimeter and then press OK. Now 
if you hide the top body the bottom cover is of 2.5 millimeter as well as the main body is also 2.5 millimeter okay now let's hide the bottom cover because on the top body we will have to have the angle for the screw this part we will be adding that so if you look at the sketch all the sketch once used actually goes high hidden right so let's unhide the last one which is basically the point that we just created a few moments earlier so let's unhide and we have the point over here now go to create hall and then we choose the same point that we used okay we choose that point but this time we have to make sure the extent is chosen to be 2 hall type is chosen as counter sink and then we change the dimensions over here the header should be 8 millimeter head diameter as well as the uh, diameter of the screw should be 4 millimeter okay but you cannot click ok why because your option is 2 right so you rotate a bit so this hole starts from this side but we need to say where it is heading to which is the end point so two port i mean two part will be on this side of the inside side inside of the bottom face or the base so we have selected the two that's why we have a circle over here and then we can click ok so if you look here the hole is in a angle okay now that it's done we need to mirror this feature onto the other side now what we do is go to create mirror okay and then we choose the pattern type to be features and we choose this as our object and mirror plane to be the yz plane okay so when we do that and press ok the hole becomes in tampered as the same i mean countersink sorry so we have the hole as countersink on this side as well as the other side now we can unhide the or unhide or display the bottom face and then hide the top face and then we have all the holes over here and that concludes the project good luck thanks for watching